हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो टुडे अगेन आई हैव कम विद सम क्वेश्चन आंसर पीसीबी इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सो आई विल ट्राई टू मेक वीडियोस रिगार्डिंग दिस पीसीबी इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन आंसर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट ओके सो व्हाट इज द पर्पस ऑफ अ फ्यूडिशियल एंड व्हेन इट इज यूज्ड नेम द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ फ्यूडिशियल Fiducial are reference markers on a PCB used for all measurements and alignments during the assembly of high pin count components. See, when the PCB is very dense, no, then uh, manually mm, assembly is not possible. The machine assembly should be there. Uh, they will do the machine assembly. So for that purpose, we need fiducial. Okay, for the reference marker. On a PCB used for all measurements alignment during the assembly of high pin. out components so you can see these two red mark is there no this is called fiducial uh, you must have known this fiducial what is it is uh, i have explained uh, in one video how to create uh, fiducial and how to place it in pads layout okay so if you don't know you can, you can go and check there okay so there are three types of fiducial types of fiducial three types local fiducial global fiducial and panel fiducial so what they will ask the question simply you have to answer exactly the same okay now next slide is what are the factors we have to consider while placing switches leds potential meter connector regulators smd chip component and rest of the circuit so some points should be there okay for placement so switches led and ports are and connectors position as required for or for ease of access and visibility okay uh, then regu regulators position near board edge as this uh, case uh, adding heat sink okay so regulator should be placed near to the board edge because it will dissipate heat so to avoid that we need to place uh, uh, near the board edge then crystal position depends on the design all associated components grouped and in the high performance design more cases to be taken actually what we'll do uh, what while placement time first we need to group the circuit as per the schematic we'll need to group and then we need to place it okay so uh, crystal uh, should near to the mainly it will be near to the ic only okay then smd chip component prefer uh, preferable position all in the same orientation see chip uh, component like uh, SMD, SOIC, or QF, QF, and anything will be there. No uh, component. You need to um, place in all the same orientation. So, so uh, it will look better also, and for assembly also, it will be uh, easy. Do not place in shadow of tall components. Tall components like some through or components there. So that shadow should not come inside that uh, um, SMD component. Okay. Position D caps on opposite side of the IC to ease routing. Suppose IC is in top, then we can place it the D caps in bottom near to that pin only. Okay. Rest of the circuit components place critical components and high pin components, and then adopt signal flow driven placement. Ensure analog and digital circuit are positioned without signal and power flow overlap. So um, you can go through this answer. Okay. so next is what is the order of routing priorities between high frequency input output and power signals give brief justification so in the design if if the design is two layer pcb then the power signals are routed first obviously if uh, you need to check the spacings and all no so you need to uh, route power first ground power uh, you need to first Okay, so what is the order of routing priorities between high frequency input output and uh, uh, power signals? So, if the design is two-layer PCB, then the power signals are routed first. This is to ensure that the required test width is available, and this gives also ensures good power delivery. When the design is a multi-layer PCB, as power plane are used, the routing priority shall be the high frequency signal, and then the other signals like input output are routed. Then high frequency signal, routing decoupling capacitors, then clock signal, high speed signal, then differential pairs, and then special category like SD, RAM, DD, RAM, uh, Ethernet, USB, and PCI like that. Okay, so uh, th like this you need to answer. 
so next is specify the precautions to be taken while routing clock signals so these all are routing uh, uh, based question so clock signals primarily are fast changing signals clock signals couple easily to neighboring signals so to minimize this coupling the clock signals are routed with either shielding or with a spacing uh, 3w w is the trace width from the other signals so spacing should be there for uh, clock signals okay clock signal shall be routed with minimum number of wires h as each wire should would mean impedance change that results in distortion and clock signals preferably routed on external layers as these layers provide the fastest propagation time for signals but because of the emc requirement it is preferred to route in the inner layers okay so next is normally ground area are provided underneath crystal what what is its purpose and rules governing grounding below the crystal is normally used to ensure that the body of the crystal is connected to ground this minimizes the noise interference with other nearby signals the crystal's retaining straps is connected to ground plane which is embedded with multiple wires and then define the aspect ratio of pcb and why it is to be considered what is aspect ratio aspect ratio is defined as the ratio of the pcb thickness to the diameter of the smallest hole okay aspect ratio question is common they last what is aspect ratio aspect ratio is defined as the ratio of the pcb thickness to the diameter of the smallest hole and next question is copper thickness on a laminated is expressed as 1 ounce 2 ounce etc what does it means see copper foil thickness is defined in ounce it comes from the day from the days when copper was used for covering roofs 1 ounce of copper is the weight of 1 square foot of copper this means 1 ounce of copper means a thickness of 35 micron that means 1.38 mils so these are the basic questions yeah you uh, and answer we you need to know okay give reasons of for the following first take traces exact center between pads number 2 for high current signals use multiple wires number c don't leave unconnected copper and number t tenting wire under bga so take traces exact center between the pads this shall ensure that the spacing between the pad and trace on both the side is same and impact of the etching variance does not result in lower yield due to rejection okay for high current signals use multiple wire so multiple wire cell provide parallel path for the current flow this ensure better current distribution and also reduces the overall path inductance this is also ensures higher dense design reliability don't leave unconnected copper unconnected copper like dangling, dangling uh, we can uh, in allegro we will use the dangling nets and dangling wires and all so that is like unconnected copper means that is not connected to anywhere unconnected copper are generally flagged as open connection during aoi in manufacturing also at higher frequency these may act as antenna based on the wavelength of the signal it may act uh, act like antenna so we should not leave that copper and tenting wires under bga to avoid shoulder bridging and fre uh, frequency okay so next is what is power supply design specification choosing trace width as per current rating isolation from this other circuit and sufficient bypass capacitors are used what is solder mask why we will use solder mask isolative protective coating applied on the external layer present a uh, preventive solder bridge uh, between two pads protect traces from environmental damage okay this is so next question is okay this is the last okay fine so next uh, video also i'll make for this uh, interview question and answer this you need to know also for pcb designing this is not only for interview this is for your knowledge also but uh, these questions are the basic questions which they uh, you all know but um, we need to answer very um, perfectly in interview so hope this video will helpful uh, uh, for you all so thank you so much for watching my video please like share and subscribe uh, my channel thank you so much